let's get started on the clip that got Andrew Jebediah Tate arrested. Lads, lads, not every day do you if beautiful news on a Tuesday about an oil brav like this, yeah. Turns out Aiden Ross in the most Anchman way possible. Shouts out to Lil Overrule for that joke. Aiden Ross, one of the f major tater tots, turned out and turned Andrew Tate in on a f Tuesday, nonetheless. You now, lads. It the Romanian government didn't find out through Aiden Ross. The Romanian government is tracking Tate's phone 24 7, monitoring every single device recording every single call. They have it out for Tate. They hate Tate. This is such a high profile case. The only way Tate would be able to make it out of Romania without being prosecuted is by bribery. And that's another charge. So that's very risky as well. Here's the clip. Um, Andrew had hit me up. He said, hey, I'm going to be uh, leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. If you want to come over, and do a week of long streams and content before I leave. I think it'll be big. And it's never. It's. I'm sorry. He said it's not. It's basically now or never. Um. So there's nothing funnier than. Okay. I thought this was just Andrew. Uh, uh. Aiden Ross being stupid. Turns out it's Andrew Tate also being stupid. They're both stupid. I had not watched this clip until this very moment. But it is f hilarious that Andrew Tate, who is under criminal investigation, is f dumb enough to be like, Yeah, I'm gonna leave the country. Hello, I am going to illegally run away from the country where I am being prosecuted. Hello, Aiden. Like, it turns out it's not, you're dumb for telling Aiden something like this because he's going to obviously reveal it. But you're also incredibly dumb for tweeting this or not, I mean, tweeting this, sorry, texting this in general. Like, what are you, guys, guys, okay, listen to me, okay, crime tip. If you're going to do a crime, don't text anyone about the crime that you're doing. Are you stupid? That will be used against you in the investigation. Don't f text the crime. Don't Google like how to do a murder, how to hide a body. Because if you do any of those things, right? And don't even do it incognito. They can still take that sh from your RSP. What a lot of people don't comprehend, what a lot of people don't get is that like all of that stuff can be used against you in a court of law. So if you're going to do crime, which don't do it, obviously, but if you're going to do the crime, don't f Google it, dumbass. Don't Google it. Don't text it. You're, you're stupid. You're a stupid person for texting and Googling and especially stupid for telling someone like Aiden Ross. Hoist it on your own petard, ladies and gentlemen. In it's so cute that Hassan Diker thought that Andrew Tate was actually going to make it out of the country if he didn't tell anybody that he was leaving the country. You have to be incredibly sophisticated to set up a private jet not tell anyone about it. You basically have to go back to the Stone Ages and start using carrier pigeons so the Romanian government can't track your 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 messages and stuff like that. It's it's impossible in the modern age to flee a country that you're being prosecuted in. It's near impossible unless you are some sort of politician that has a lot of inside pull. So Andrew Tate had no chance of fleeing the country. Absolutely zero chance. Because I guarantee that they that the Romanian government knew Andrew Tate was going to flee before even Andrew Tate knew he was going to flee. There's not a chance in hell that Andrew Tate was going to make it out of Romania. Incredible stuff. Incredible. Couldn't have happened in a funnier f way. You know, and, you know, and, and this is just... I told you guys this year, you know, it's a week of content, right? Um, and again, guys, this might be the last time we ever do this. So it's kind of like we got to take advantage of it now because... Aiden is an L man's ain't no way. What it, What is he doing? Like, what is he doing? Also, my take on, for the record, my take on for the Romanian criminal justice system. Guys, come on now. Finish the investigation. Wrap it up. The f are we doing? Like, as much as I uh, personally enjoy how funny it is that he's like constantly in legal struggles and whatnot, but like, I would like to, you know, I would like to see some justice. And honestly, like, it is getting to a point where it's like a little bit crazy how long it's taking. You know what I mean? It's a little bit crazy how long it's taking. Like, come on now. What are we doing here? Obviously, the situation is probably even way more dog sh for poor people uh, that are in the throes of the criminal justice system, even in a place like the United States of America, which has significantly more resources. 
I hate when Hassan Diker talks about, I mean, sorry, Hassan Piker talks about low income people and poor people, tries to relate to them because he had a silver spoon growing up. He's a trust fund baby. He's never been poor in his life. He had incredible amounts of money growing up. He hid that because he wants to come off as a man of the people, but he's not. And he's like six foot four, pretty handsome. He's the one with all the privilege. I kind of look like him, except if I was his retired cousin or something. It still doesn't matter. There are plenty of people who are like locked in Rikers awaiting a court date and uh, in torturous conditions. But like, come on. Anyway, that's so funny that this happened. Here is the post from McHugh, Jury, and Partner. Statement in response to Andrew Tate being detained in Romania and issued with a UK arrest warrant. McHugh, Jury, and Partners represents four British women who accuse Andrew Tate of rape and serious physical and sexual assaults. Our client's allegations were the subject of an investigation in the United Kingdom by the Hertfordshire Constabulary. This morning, it came to our attention that Tate has been detained in Romania. After an arrest warrant, an extradition request was issued to uh, by the authorities in the United Kingdom to Romania in respect of allegations of sexual offenses during the same period in which our clients alleged Tate raped and assaulted them. Last week, we received the information that Tate might have been planning to flee Romania. We wrote to the British police to bring this to their attention and to urge them to immediately seek a warrant for Tate's detention in Romania and extradition to the UK. So as far as I understand it, what is going on is once the Romanian court case is over, he will be extradited into the UK. I don't know if he has like a free moment in between where his freedom of travel is like somewhat restricted, where he could just like legally escape to Dubai or some sh or a place where like there's no extradition policy to the UK. But beyond that, if he wants to operate in the Western world, I suspect that he will be, uh, he will get clapped up. Israel Ark, no shot. I mean, the Israel Ark actually does track, but that's the, that's grifting in the other direction. It tracks with his crimes, but it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually matter because like he, there's two ways out. Okay. Listen, listen, if you have caught, if you have been caught doing sex crimes, there's two ways out of it. All right. You either immediately go to Israel, no extradition policy. And many people do that. Okay. Many people do. Sounds like he's speaking from personal experience. Do that. Or you go to uh, either Russia or one of these other countries. And if you're like really right wing and you've talked shit about Israel, you got to go to Russia. If you're really right wing and love Israel, you go to Israel. That's how it works. Also, Aiden said in the clip he knew Tate was getting locked up. He didn't say that for a while. So... While we cannot and do not comment on any knowledge of ongoing investigations, we are grateful that the British authorities have decided to take action and take heed of our concerns and the concerns of our clients. Tate is accused of serious criminal offenses against a large number of victims and must be held accountable for those actions. We will be releasing a fuller statement on behalf of our clients shortly. That's what he said. Um, okay, all seriousness, uh, like all jokes aside, if we're going to be serious about it, like I've said, I think, you know, we need to figure out the going on conclude the romanian court case and then uh have the court case play itself out in the uk as well really funny though that like andrew tate is stupid enough to f text that he's gonna like flee the country when there's a second uh when there's a second court case happening potentially in the uk so that's really dumb of him and it's additionally dumb of him to say it to aiden ross who is a dumb Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate have been arrested again by Romanian authorities under a UK warrant. They were arrested over sexual misconduct in two separate cases from 2012 to 2015. Love is blinding and he loves Aiden. I think he loves clout. That's actually one thing I agree about. Andrew Tate definitely loves clout. Just like Hassan. It is wild to me how much this dude is like in and out of, of uh, prison and jail and shit though. Oh, sh the Romanian courts have approved the request to extradite Andrew Tate. A Romanian court has approved a request for Britain to extradite internet personality Andrew Tate, but postponed doing so until Romanian trials proceedings finish. The court said on Tuesday it had also ruled that Tate and his brother, Tristan, should be released from police custody immediately. The Tates have been detained for 24 hours pending a ruling on the British arrest warrant. The Court of Appeals said in a statement that it rules to execute the arrest warrant and 
to postpone handing over the requested person until the final verdict in the criminal case argued at the Bucharest court. Peyton and his brother Tristan were detained on Monday night on allegations of sexual aggression dating back to 2012 and 2015, which they categorically denies. PR team said the warrant was issued by Westminster Magistrates Courts in London. We are innocent men. We are very innocent men in time. Everyone is going to see that, and we are very excited to finish this judicial process and clear our names, Tate said as he was released from police custody. It's very funny because I've been asking Romanian courts to go to the UK myself. I've asked five times and been declined, so now I get to go home. That's fantastic news. This guy literally said he went to Romania so he wouldn't get me too'd in Romania like he would get me too'd in England. And now he's like, oh, I really want to go back to England where he has a literal sexual assault trial waiting for him. What the f is going on? That's not even like, that's not a joke. That's not a joke. That's straight up. Like actually what is going on here? He had, he said that he literally said that. One last time, Law, but two was actually released and made a statement in front of the media as right now. Yeah. England has gotten more reactionary since he left. He might stand a chance now. No. The UK is garbaggio with convincing sexual assault though, right? Yes. I think the UK is really bad at this kind of stuff. However, it, this is so high profile and I do think like politics will play a role because it's so high profile. I think politics will play a role and and uh, it will cause the UK courts to potentially do like a decent job at this prosecution. Prince Andrew was high profile. Yes, but Prince Andrew is a prince. Andrew Tate is the prince of incels. You are, are you comparing a small time like alleged sex trafficker that had to do his operations in Romania to the guy that sex traffickers like Jeffrey Epstein bow down to? Andrew Tate is not even a fraction of jeffrey epstein andrew tate is like literally the level one mafia version of of jeffrey epstein jeffrey epstein was serving the interests of andrew tate so uh, not andrew tate sorry uh, uh prince andrew they're both andrew that's it that's the that's as close as you're gonna get like one is one is quite literally and definitionally a small bean trafficker yes the problem for andrew tate is that he is not like this is high profile almost entirely because he gloats too much he gloats too much and he's pissed off the wrong moms and dads okay that's it like he would have 100 percent been able to get away with everything that he's doing if he wasn't so f vocal about flexing non-stop about utilizing the lover boy method and implementing coercive measures on the people that he had hired to do webcam work and stuff like that so that is like the major reason and also on top of that he got like too famous for his own good being a the incel warlord basically so he pissed off too many f tory moms that's what it is he pissed off conservative moms when conservative moms like white conservative moms were like i don't know what's going on my son is calling our daughter a bitch. that's it it's jover at that point too many f moms in in positions of f power white moms were powerful conservative elite too many of them were like no 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 we need to put a f end to this that's what got him f cooked okay like a little bit of conservatism is fine he he hammed it on way too much all these like 12 year olds are running around being like get your money up fuck you i will piss my pants it's actually alpha dog to your diapies it's like the what what do you mean what are, what is going on you're a baby stop be a baby why are you why do you have this weird accent like you grew up in either luton or gary indiana what's going on it's like a mixture of both hello i will piss my pants bitch. anyway british police told reuters the taste were part of an ongoing investigation into allegations of rape and human trafficking adding they were working with romanian authorities we appreciate the bucharest court of appeals decision to postpone the extradition of andrew and tristan tate eugene vidniak legal counsel for defendants said in a statement this ruling provides an opportunity for the brothers to participate fully in their defense and and for the legal process to proceed in a transparent manner. Tate, who gained millions of fans by promoting an ultra-masculine lifestyle, was indicted in June in Romania along with his brother and two Romanian women for human trafficking, rape, and forming a criminal gang to sexually exploit women. They have denied the charges. The case has since been with the Bucharest Court's preliminary chamber, which needs to decide uh, whether the trial can start. A decision has yet to be made with Romanian court's backlog. The Tate brothers were held in police custody pending the criminal investigation from late December 2022 until April to prevent them from fleeing the country or tampering with evidence. They were placed under house arrest until August. They have since been under judicial control. A lighter preventative measure, meaning they have regular check-ins with the police, but can move around freely except for leaving the country. That's it. Yeah, except for when you uh, reveal your plans to the dumbest person you possibly could, who then talks about it on stream, and then the law enforcement 
hears about it. Oh, yeah, dude. That's how the Romanian government found out. Through Aiden Ross. Yeah, okay. Spokesperson for the Tates tells Rolling Stone, we unequivocally deny any accusations that Andrew or Tristan Tate intend to abscond from Romania to evade the judicial proceedings, saying Ross misconstrued Andrew's... The Romanian government is up Andrew Tate's ass. He is such a high-profile case. They are tracking his shit 24-7. They don't use Twitch or YouTube for their inside information about Andrew Tate. His message to him. God, that's so funny. A rep for Ross did not immediately return a request for comment. A highly controversial 23-year-old streamer from Florida, Ross was permanently banned from Twitch in February 2023 for promoting hateful conduct after posting uncensored racist and anti-Semitic comments from his fans. He has been a longtime defender of the brothers, proclaiming their innocence on social media following their 2020-2022 Romania arrest and detainment on separate charges of rape trafficking and forming an organized group to exploit women. Prior to their Tuesday arrest, they were awaiting a trial in Romania and had been ordered by judges not to flee the country and its surrounding area. Here's Andrew Tate speaking after his uh, release from jail earlier today. Unfortunately, I don't think many people in Romania understand, but in the West, in the countries that are owned by the Satanists, in which a certain level of fame, you either put on a dress or you go to jail, and I'm happy to make my choice, which is jail every single time. My soul is not for sale, neither are my principles. We are innocent men. No, we're very innocent men, and in time, everybody's going to see that, and we're very excited to finish this judicial process and get our next. You are free for now, but still, the Romanian court approved extradition to the UK after the trial. Claims are being made about intentions to flee Romania in such claims. David Judge told me would you like to get extracted to England? Yo, this has been Salem Savage with my take on the news. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Join forces with me so we can take on the failed policies that are absolutely destroying America.